Sean and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a beauty business coach and my YouTube channel BBB Beauty Business Builder is here to help you within the beauty, hair and aesthetic industry to be seen. Gone are the days when we can rely on time for exchange services. I teach and coach entrepreneurs like you to leverage their skills, find new alternative ways to generate a revenue and to become unstoppable and a celebrity in your field. So if you want to know more, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the bell, subscribe now and check out my other videos and I look forward to helping you and your beauty business. Bye for now. Hi there, this is SJ and welcome to another podcast. I am a little bit behind on this podcast. It has been a very busy um, six weeks holiday. If you have children, you will kind of know yourself how crazy the six weeks holiday is, cramming everything in. So I apologise that this is a two week wait for the next one. If you are new to this, then I do encourage you to go back to the beginning as there's some really good, valuable insights, strategies and things that I implemented in my business two years ago to help me to develop and be where I am today. Um, so it's really valuable, so do take it back. Um, if you're an avid listener, then thank you so much for staying tuned. Now, the, the podcast today that I want to do is basically about juggling work, children, home life, and everything else. And the reason why I want to do this right now is because I do feel that these last six weeks, the six weeks holiday for me, have been carnage, have been absolute carnage and to try and focus on you and your business and where you want to be is so much harder and when people listen to this podcast I want them to know a little bit about me as well because I want them to know that I am not this person that hasn't got all these extra things as well. You know, I do have two children. Um, I do have split childcare with my with their dad, but I do have two children. I do have a house to run. I do have three businesses. Um, I do have everything else that comes with life, as well as trying to develop and advance and um, leverage my skills and build my empire and do all of that. So I wanted to kind of have a little bit of a, almost like a little bit of a heart to heart with you to say that, you know, if you are the same, if you do have, if you even if you haven't got children, but you do have a house to run, uh, you do have a job that is earning you money, but then you are still trying to develop and expand and create other businesses um, that I'm with you and I, I support that and I want to kind of help you to realise that it is possible, it is possible, but it is possible with a lot of frigging fucking graft, okay? So that's what I want to talk to you about today. Now, I feel finally we are on in the first week of September, um, the kids are going back to school, um, and it, obviously with having COVID, with having COVID and all the lockdowns, the restrictions that we've had, we haven't really had a, a good year of um, routine. We've not had no routine. We haven't had stability. We've had no stability. We've had no, uh, not knowing what's going to happen next week, whether our kids are going to be off school or whether we're going to be another lockdown again or whether our main source of income is going to change dramatically. So we have had a crazy 18 months of not really knowing where we are. So that does make it so much harder to plan. Now, a lot of you might listen to this and thinking, I don't have time to do all these extra things on my business uh, that I'm doing. You know, a lot of you know that I'm currently manufacturing my own makeup range. I'm building my online coaching business, um, as well as still treating clients um, and running a clinic. And we all do have, we all can make time, okay? We all know that. We all know that we can make time. It's about prioritizing. And what you will find is when something is important to you and when you're passionate about something, you will prioritise that. So right now, my uh, manufacture my own makeup line is very important to me and I'm very passionate about that. So at night time when the kids are in bed, they're finally settled down 
I will sit there with my tea on my lap and I will work on my makeup productions and my uh, marketing for that and whatever I need to do, my little demonstration videos. And I will work on that because it's important to me. And this is also very important for you to look at because if you find at the end of the day, when you've got the kids to bed, when you've had your tea, if you find that you are not excited about working on this business that you're wanting to create or working on this product line that you're wanting to launch or um, whatever it may be, you know, like I to, do teach you to work on ways to generate extra income by subscriptions or what, you know, whatever you feel that you can develop and expand on your business. If you don't think about doing that at night time, you just think, nah, fuck it, TV on, then are you really passionate about it, okay? So you need to look at, if you're watching this on YouTube, yes, I have got mascara under my eyes. I have got serious watery eyes today for some reason. Okay, moving past that. Um, so yeah, if you are finding that you just want to get TV on and you are done and that's it and you just sit and vegetate from the TV, then what you're wanting to do and develop is not you're not passionate about it enough. So you've got to be you've got to find out how to be passionate about it. Either it's not the right thing for you, or you've got to look at your true values and your goals and your long-term goals. So you've got to discover what is going to make you want to do that. So what is the bigger picture? So me working on this, on this makeup line, manufacturing this makeup line, is a mammoth task. It's almost been a year in the making. And there are some days that I'm like, oh God, right, okay, I've got to do that. I've got to email that. I've got to design my labels. I've got to design this. I've got to whatever. There's so many things and so many things that are, that, that are included in that. Now, when I just focus on them small little tasks, that doesn't excite me. But when I focus on, right, what is this going to do? When If I work on this business and I work on doing this this evening, what is that going to make me closer to creating? And what that's going to make me closer in developing and creating is the fact that I will have a fully functional online shop where people can order and purchase products while I'm asleep. So I can earn money while I'm asleep. So then that looking at the longer term goal will make me want to do that. So don't get me wrong. It is so hard to juggle life, children, work, lockdown, school holidays. But I finally feel that right now the kids are back at school. The kids are going back to school imminently. When you listen to this next week, uh, it is Friday, uh, Thursday today, some kids are back today. Next week in the UK, they are, they are all back. It's time to start organising, Start time to start planning, structuring your week, making your to-do list, knowing what you have got to do by the end of play that week and start working on them. So now... We haven't got any excuses. We had excuses in the six weeks holiday. We had excuses with COVID and with lockdowns and everything else. But now we haven't got any excuses. So it is now time to start planning and structuring in what you are wanting to do, your long-term goals and breaking that down and how you can achieve them long-term goals. So if you haven't already done this, okay, you are now at a stage, like I said, where normality is coming back with the kids being at school at school and all the restrictions. So now it's time for you to start looking at those long-term goals, looking at one of those big long-term goals and breaking that down, breaking it down into small snippets, breaking that down so them small snippets can then be inserted into your diary. And make sure you do a weekly planner. You know, I've got a whiteboard at home that on a Sunday night, I will say to myself, right, okay, what's my big goal for, for this month? I will look at that and I think, right, what is what is achievable for me to do this week? And I will get that on my planner, get that on my whiteboard. And then I know day by day, I will tick them off, tick them off, tick them off, tick them off. And then the week after, do the same. And then before you know it, you've started to take little chips out of this big goal that you're trying to create. So this is a little bit of a, this was a little bit of a kind of heart to heart in terms of, you know, I feel you if you find that this whole 18 months and these last six weeks have been quite tough for you to manage your time. But what you need to do is start 
really looking at what you are doing, what you are aiming to achieve, where you are wanting to be, what you're wanting to achieve from you and your business, and how you can now start achieving that. So start achieving that by breaking things down into manageable tasks. And we all can use the excuse of not enough time. We can all use that excuse. But do we all sit for an hour in front of the TV in the night time? Do we all sit for an hour on social media, having a little prat around, have a little bit of a scroll? If we all do that, then you've got time right there. Now, I'm I'm a massive um, gym freak. I love dancing and going to the gym. And what I found is I don't have the time to um, catch up on the podcast that I enjoy listening to and start listening to um, a lot of YouTube channels of people that inspire and motivate me. I don't have the time to do that. So now what I do, I play them when I'm in the gym, when I'm on, you know, the blooming squat deck and when I'm actually on my, you know, the cross trainer and stuff, I actually have podcasts on and I actually listen to YouTube channels on when I'm training. So I'm saving time uh, because I really still want to train in the gym. And I get to a stage where I'm like, oh God, I want to go to the gym. But yeah, I know I need to work on content. I know I need to develop my skills. I know I need to motivate myself by listening to these motivational podcasts. How the hell can I do all this at the same time? So that's what I do. And this is a beautiful thing about podcasts. You know, I, I hopefully, well, I wonder where you guys are and what you guys are listening, what device you're listening to me from today or whereabouts you are. Um, but I always listen to my podcast when I'm at home cleaning, pottering around, when I'm at the gym, when I walk to the shops. That is when I listen to my podcast and that is when I listen to things that help motivate me and keep me on track. So that is something that I encourage you guys to do. So if you really think that, you know what, I haven't got the time, I really haven't got the time, you can easily just motivate yourself and if you motivate yourself, you're then going to make time. You can easily do by, do that by bringing in podcasts, YouTube channels, um, you know, Facebook um, live videos, all of that. You can re-watch these and listen to these when you are walking to the shops, when you are at the gym, when you're going for a run. Um, you know, you can easily do that. And I know everybody has got time. Now, talking about time, um, we are, like I say, most people that are listening to this are in the personal care industry, so they do cram their diary back to back and get clients booked in all the time. But is this make is this getting you to where you want in your business freedom and development? And if it's not, and if you've got bigger things that you want to be working on, like what I have done with Manufacture My Own Line, what you need to do is you need to make time in the diary to do that. You can't just think, you know what, cram the clients in, cram the clients in, time for money, time for money, time for money. You need to think to yourself, well, you know what, I'm going to allocate myself 10 hours that week, 10 hours that week for personal business development and expansion. And that is what you need to do. You need to not be enticed by that new client, that new client that wants to book you. Think, oh, God, I can quickly quit, squeeze in and get 100 quid. You need to make sure that your hours that you're allocating for business development is allocated for business development. And make sure if you are organised the end of the um, on the Sunday night, like I said, I get it all on my board on the month for the, for the Monday morning. You need to make sure that all these things that are on your board to develop you in your business and where you want to be is going to be put into them five to ten hours a week. So you need to really make sure you do that because working on this type of content and these type of um, assets to your business, so whether it be subscription, whether it be a product line, whether it be... Um, live treatments you know I'm still doing live treatments and they're still going down very well um you know I'm actually in the process of creating a um a live facial uh, that I'm going to upload to YouTube and I'm actually going to sell home care kits to people because there's still people out there that can't come to clinic there's still some people out there that have children full-time and they can't get to clinic but yet they're still wanting the good results and I'm going to sell this as a package but once I've created my video once it's there I don't have to do it again so when these clients purchase their home care pack from me they just click on the YouTube video and watch it I don't have to allocate myself one hour each client to do that so that is generating more money for no extra time. 
that I have to give. So these are the things that you need to be working on within your business. But we have finally got the kids back to school. We've finally got that little bit of normality. Um, you know, I think we can, fingers crossed, say that, you know, I know COVID is probably never going to go away. But in terms of managing our life with COVID, I do think that we are now going to be able to function as we once were. Um, so that is the hope. Uh, um, and I think if that's not going to happen, I think we're going to do that anyway, <laughs> because we don't want to be giving any more of our life away. Um, so yeah, we finally at a stage where we can now start focusing. Um, and it's hard, you know. What I have had a very rough three months. I I'm not going to lie; it has been very difficult to manage children. Um, wanted to get in a holiday as well, wanted to really unwind and chill out, which I have done. I feel like I need another one. Um, but to to just to, to, to refocus, to refocus. Um, and I know that I have fallen behind and you guys will know that because my podcast has been released late. So it happens to us all, but we are now at a stage where we have got that normality. Kids are back at school. COVID is going to be forgot. Well, managed not forgotten is going to be managed so much better so it's now time to focus on you to re reevaluate your values your passion your long-term goals and start working on you your business and where you want to be in one five and ten years time and start working on that so thank you for joining me today on today's podcast um it was a little bit of a random um, off the cuff one but I did just want to kind of reach out and say that you know I feel you and I have also had six weeks of quite craziness uh, managing life kids work everything else um, and the business side has taken a, has, has taken a hit um, you know in terms of time I've not been allocating enough time to the business so don't you fret if that is you as well we all get these little blips um, but now it's time to get back on it get focused and start working on those goals so thank you so much for listening if you've enjoyed this podcast then please comment please drop us a review um i would love to see another review pop up on the itunes um, and share with anybody else you feel would benefit from this as well so see you soon guys and thank you for tuning in bye for now